Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, welcome. So, um, I'm parked outside the house now and I'm on my own. Mrs. B's not here. Um, she's not feeling uh, well enough to go where I'm going today. So, normally I ask Mrs. B the question, where are we going? But I'm going to have to ask myself, where are we going, Mr. B? We're off to see Pete Tong again in Cardiff. So, uh, it's like 20 past one on a Tuesday afternoon. It's grey and gloomy outside. And I'm just about to drive to Cardiff. So uh, I'll see you when we get there. I'm not going to waffle too much, but I'll uh, see you when we get there. Goodbye. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so I've just made it to uh, the St. David Centre in Cardiff. Um, there's an open air car park just down the way, which is like £21 pounds for, the, for the day. Here it's 26 quid for the day, but it's, uh, it's um, undercover and got security and all that jazz. So I've just parked up, an uneventful journey, it was literally straight down the motorway, got here, put, um, spun up the uh, into the car park, so I literally drove up there, I'm on the orange floor, here we go, parked up and ready to go. So I'm going uh, to go find the hotel, I'll tell you the saga about the hotel in a moment as well, but I'll get there first, see you in a jiffy, goodbye. Well, hello, here I am in the hotel room. I've been chilling out for a couple of hours, just lying on the bed, watching rubbish on my phone, probably a few YouTube channels. <laughs> um, yeah, so th this is where I'm staying. I'm staying in the Ibis budget in Cardiff. Um, I was going to stay in a Citrus Hotel, which we stayed in before. It's right next to the um, venue for tonight for Pete Tong. But I had a call from hotels.com last night saying, sorry, cancelled your hotel you've got to come and stay here instead so and it's an absolute dump if i'm honest let me show you it's like there's the loo and i'm going to shake deep in the loo because there isn't a toilet brush for uh, you know which is i'm <laughs> going into any detail here's a little sink there's a bed with a bunk bed above it which is a bit weird and a shower cubicle look oh, oh, oh that looks lovely doesn't it and a broken vent where spiders and stuff crawl down and eat your face. Got some rubbish on the telly. There's a, um, a view out out the uh, out the room of the Novotel. Let me just open this up. Don't you see it? The Novotel Hotel and car park. But because I stayed here, I've had to get parked in. So I parked in the um, St David Centre. That's cost me 26 quid for the day. So uh, I'm going to send a very strongly worded message to uh, hotels.com uh, tomorrow. But I'm going to go out and get some food. It's like nearly five o'clock now. So I'm going to go out and get some food and I'll uh, see you in a moment. Yes, am I? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring you with me and I'll see you in a bit. Ta-ra. Bye. Right, there we go. So that's tea done. So I walked into uh, Cardiff. First place to come across was Wagamama's. So I just popped in and had a big bowl of noodles with chicken and prawns. I think it was like two prawns, <laughs> a tiny bit of chicken, uh, a can of cider that was like 330 ml, so it was like uh, like a, uh, a can of Coke, like cider for £6.20, um, and some little uh, like dumpling things, I don't know what they were, but yeah, 26 quid that I came to, so there you go, tea's done, so I'm going to go find a pub now and uh, have a couple of drinks and wait, it's about, I think it's like quarter to six, so uh, yeah, it's like quarter to six in the evening. Um, I think the uh, the doors open at the uh, at the event at six thirty, but you don't want to go in that early. I think we found that when we went to um, the O2. So I had to go and have a meet around Cardiff, have a few drinks. I'll see you in a few seconds. Blah blah blah. Hey, hello. I'm I'm Dave, and I've, uh, this is my second drink. No. Um, you've all seen those videos. I just had a uh, another pint of inches in the uh, Duke of Wellington, which is rather nice. Very busy in there. Very warm and cosy day. So I'm now just walking up the street because I think, excuse me, I'm feeling burpy up here. If I go right and then right again, I think there's a cosy club. So let me flip you around and show you where I am. So this is where I am, this is a Tuesday night in Cardiff, 
rather busy, isn't it? Tuesday night in Cardiff. I've also found there's a um, there's a Greek place down on Caroline Street, which Caroline Street used to be renowned for where you'd go for a fight after you'd been on a night out. You'd go for a kebab and a fight down Caroline Street. So uh, I'm walking up. I can't remember the name of this. Is it St Mary Street, maybe? There's the Royal Arcade. But I'm hoping there's the St David Centre. What I'm hoping is if I come up here and I turn right and then I go right again, there should be a... What you call it? There should be a Miller and Carter if I remember rightly and there should also be a turn-in that takes you down to the cosy club so I'm going to go in there and I'm going to have drink number three but the first drink was only like it was like half a drink so I'm on like one and a half at the moment so that'll make two and a half not three but we just round up to three but I'm waffling so see you in a moment <laughs> hello, hello, I'll have to keep this really quick because I'll get copyright because of the music that's going on in the background but here I am in the cosy club I'd spin you around and I'll put a bit of a soundtrack of my own on See you in a jiffy i got to say the ambiance is rather nice in here I've gone for a pint of Henry Weston's Vintage I think it's about 8.2% so I'll see you on the other side Oh, it's just waffling loads then, give me a little tour as I walked it, uh, down, but then I noticed it was only on picture. So let's try that again. Just finished in the Cozy Club, had my third pint, which was a pint of Henry Weston's. It was like drinking uh, syrup or gravy, so thick and heavy. So I'm going to go and find another pub, see if I find something a bit light and fruity. And I'll see you in a moment. Right, there we go. So pint number four was in this place. The Oin Glendower. I think that's how it's pronounced. Oin Glendower. So, yeah, that's point number um, four. So I've got to make my way back to where I came because I went the wrong bloody way. So I'm going to flip you around. Hopefully I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Let's flip you around. There we go. So look, this is all the Christmas. Christmas markets are all on. You can get your sausages and your uh, German beer and all that shenanigans. But uh, yeah, we got to head back from once we came and then go the other way because um, we went the wrong bloody way. Uh, yes, yeah, so it looks very festive. I better talk over the music, otherwise I get copywritten, copyright, copyrighted. But, um, you got a little bar there, but it means you've got to, you'd have to have your drinky pops outside, and we don't want to have drinky pops outside. It's too cold for drinky pops outside. So, yes, yeah, so that's drink number four. And, uh, I'm going to make my way back from whence I came, and I'll see you in the next place. That's right, huh? Right, there we go. So that's pint number five six seven eight and nine in the traders tavern there's sam hello sam <laughs> hello kev hello <laughs> yeah i bought a load of um what they called a uh, jaeger bombs and nobody wanted to drink jaeger bombs so i had all the jaeger bombs and we're now heading to the arena now so we'll see you in a mo goodbye bye <laughs>
hello, 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 right. So I just got back to the hotel. I've had lots of drinks. I've had lots of food. I had a mixed kebab with chips on uh, Cavern Street. And I washed that, but my phone ran out of juice. So I'm back at the hotel. And uh, yes, that is a night to remember. I don't think I'm going to be booking for Pete Tong again. There was, there was like um, only a third of the people that was there last year, so it was very quiet. Um, very good, but very quiet. Wasn't too happy on the song they ended on. But there we go. So, yes, get yourself to Cardiff, get yourself to Pete Tong. Get yourself very drunk and it'll change your life. See you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Hello, hello, good morning. How are you? So it's the morning after the night before. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit croaky and a bit sorry for myself because I had a couple too many to drink last night. As you might have uh, been able to tell from the previous video clips. Um so yeah. <coughs> Got a bit of a cough going on as well. I woke up about half eight. Um, no coffee making facilities in the room because it's the Ibis budget, which is awesome. So I had to, uh, got ready, yeah, went and uh, checked out, put my bag in the uh, in the car, and then uh, just um, been at McDonald's having some breakfast. I was uh, not feeling as great as I am now. Uh, 45 minutes ago, I'm sure. But yeah, it was, uh, it was good at Pete Tong. Um, I don't know about going next year. There was, uh, I don't know if I mentioned last night, it just seemed there wasn't as many people there. It was still good, still very good, but yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm going to make my way home and uh, see you on the next one. Be safe, have fun, get yourself to Pete Tong, it'll change your life. Goodbye.